Hello, my name is Ki Song, instructor in mathematics at Georgia Highlands College. And today's topic is composition of functions. In this video, we will discuss what is composition of functions, how to evaluate composition of functions when we're given equations, tables, and graphs. And last, we will look at how to find the domains of composition of functions. Let's start with the definition. Composition of functions combine two functions such as f and g by using the output of one function as the input of another. Here we have f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x plus three. So let's say two is the input for f of x. So we plug in two into the x, we get two squared, which gives us the four. So four is the output for f of x, and now we're gonna use that for the input for the second function. So plug in the four into the g of x, we get four plus three, which is seven. So the final result, when we plug in the two as our original number, our output is the seven. This is written as g of f of two or g of f. If we were to reverse the order and plug the function into the g of x and then f of x, 2 goes into the g of x, 2 plus 3 gives us 5. 5 goes into the f of x, 5 squared is 25. This is f of g of 2 or f of g2. Notice that the outputs are different. Even though we both started with the same 2, the order of the inputs made a clear difference. If you wish to find composition of functions for all x values, instead of a specific values like two, plug in the x as the starting input. So here we have the same functions. And using x as the input, plug in x into the function, we get x squared. Now plug in the result x squared into the second function, we get x squared plus 3. This is g of f of x or just g of f, and which is x squared plus 3. Let's do a practice problem. Here we're given two equations and asked to find f of g. So we know that f of g is same as f of g of x. And we know that g of x is equal to 5x. So we can replace this g of x with the 5x, giving us f of 5x. Now, plug in the 5x into the f of x function, which brings us 5x divided by the 4. What if we were asked to find f of g of 10? Well, we already know f of g of x, which is 5x divided by 4, we just replace the x with the 10, which means we replace the x here with the 10 as well. So we have 50 divided by 4, which reduces to 25 divided by 2. What if we're given tables of values instead? And this time it says find the f of g of 1. So find g of 1, which is at 1, g is 4, so which means g of 1 just becomes 4. Next, find f of 4. When x is 4, here, f of x is 16. So final value, 16. And that's it. This time, we're given graphs. And it says to find f of g of 3. So find g of 3, so when x is 3, g of x is 1, which means we have f of 1. So now, do it again. When x is 1, the f of x is also 1. So final answer, 1. And the last part is finding the domains of composition of functions. It says find the domains where the f of x is 3 divided by x minus 1, and g of x equals 4 divided by x plus 5. And we know the f of g is same as f of g of x, 
which means we need to focus on g of x first because it's in the innermost parentheses. So the g of x is 4 divided by x plus 5, which means we have a fraction. And in fractions, we can never divide by 0. And what is the x value that makes the denominator equal to 0? It's negative 5, which means our input cannot be negative 5 because that will cause problem with the g of x. What about the f of x? What well, f of x is also a fraction. 1 cannot go into f of x. Now, does that mean we need to eliminate 1 as our original input? Not quite, because once 1 goes through g of x, it no longer stays as 1. Here, if you plug in 1 into the g of x, you get 4 over 1 plus 5, which is 4 over 6. So 1 becomes 4 over 6, and 4 over 6 is fine for f of x. So our concern is rather, when will g of x become 1? So what is the original input that becomes 1, which causes problems for f of x? We can find that by setting the function g of x equals to 1. So here, x plus 5 is in the denominator. So to cancel that out, multiply that amount left and right side so that we can bring it up to the top. Then these two cancel out, giving us 4 equals x plus 5. Move the 5 over by subtracting 5. So final result is negative 1. So this means we need to get rid of negative 1 as our original input because that negative 1 will turn into 1 after going through g of x. So our domain is all real numbers except the negative 5, which gave us a problem for g of x, and the negative 1, which turns into 1, that caused problem for f of x. I'll leave you with the problem for you to try on your own. Here we have the f of x graph and the g of x graph. Can you find the f of g of negative 8? If you have questions or comments, feel free to contact me at my email. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.